We're going to start with a brow pencils first. This one's by Anastasia. Um, I have a MAC sharpener here that's got the two standard sizes. These are a smaller pencil, so we're going to use the smaller, smaller area. You're going to put it in there and you're going to give it a few turns. That looks pretty nice. It could be just a little bit sharper. Okay, so that looks good. Now the the thing with it, you don't want to just go from the sharpener to your eye brow. So you're going to just gently run it over your hand to test it out. And then you're going to twirl it a little bit and break off that excess. And then continue to soften that edge just a little bit. So you want it to be sharp but you don't want it to be so sharp that it's going to break off, the tip's going to break off on your, when you're applying. So that looks good, and then you can go ahead and do your little hairs on your eyebrows. That looks really good. Now this has a double edge, so it's kind of nice. It comes with the um, eyebrow brush. The other thing is, is you want to make sure to keep your ends and put those on. It helps to prolong the life of your product and keeps it from drying out. So let's try another one. This is from MAC. This is a deep dark brunette. You can see, you know, it's kind of creates just big, big area. So let's go ahead and put that in the sharpener. Give it a few twirls. That looks pretty good. So we're going to do the same thing and we're going to twirl that tip. Some of that excess breaks off of there. Kind of soften those edges just a little bit. And see, there you go. So you want it to where when you apply it to your eyebrow, you're getting those nice hair like strokes. Uh, here's another one by MAC. This is a taupe. We'll go ahead and sharpen that. If you're new to eyebrow pencils, a good idea to start with a taupe color. Even if you have really dark eyebrows, you can actually get a, more of a, a sort of a nude taupe if you have more blonde eyebrows. And there we go. We broke off a little bit of that tip. round that out see a little bit more came off so you don't want that to happen on your eye that's why you're kind of prepping it ahead of time and then then you're able to do your smaller hair strokes so that looks really good remember keep the caps on prolong the life of your product a eyebrow pencil from hourglass this is a little bit different so this is where you twirl the end and it comes up and comes down. The thing with these is you cannot sharpen them. But what you can do is to keep them clean. So clean off those edges to kind of pull side to side. So you're going to bring back those edges to the center a little bit more. And then you're able to do your strokes, little hairs, when you're filling in your eyebrows. Here's a larger one by NARS, and it does not fit into this size. So this is not a standard size pencil and in that case I'm gonna to have to find my pencil sharpener for this pencil so we'll set that aside this is a Mac this is a it's called half red and a lot of times you know you're using your lip pencil and it just gets really rounded so you want to make sure to go in give it a few twirls nice sharp edge and again we're going to do the same thing where we uh, break off a little bit of that tip 
So it's sharper, which we want, and that way we can, you know, if you want a real fine line, or if you want to fill in your whole lip, either way, but getting rid of that excess tip, that gives you much better quality application. Here's another pencil. This is from Lancome. This one is, this is nice because it has a, a lip brush on the end, which is kind of convenient. And you want to make sure to clean that with alcohol to keep it sanitary. And we'll go ahead and do a few twirls here. This wood's a little bit softer. That looks good. And so we're gonna do that same thing where we twirl that end, get rid of that excess. Nice, soft, smooth texture. Okay, so here's one. This is from Mac. Twirl it and it comes up. So you can't sharpen this one either. So what you would do with these, you're going to do the same thing like I did with that eyebrow pencil. So you're going to um, go over it side to side, the um, edge a little bit sharper. And there you go. You want to make sure to lower these down because sometimes if you put the lid on and you don't lower down, you, you can break off the edge and then that's no fun gives you a much more quality application when you do it that way. Because if you try to use it when you just sharpen it and then that comes off on your lip and then you just, it's a whole mess and you know, it just takes time to get that cleaned up and you know, we want to be able to do our makeup pretty quickly. Places to go, things to do. More of a winter color, and, but you still want is somewhat of that you want to just lighten up the color a little bit so here I'm going to sharpen this pencil clean off that edge to more of a nude color the other thing about um, a, a nude lip color is you really can use it with almost any uh, lipstick oh look at this one see that'll happen where the tip will completely break off and then give that a few twirls this will take a little bit more because it that was totally broken off on the end and there you go twirl it and then you can use your eyeliner long comb this is black ebony go in Sharpen your pencil. And it's nice to sharpen all your pencils at once. I mean, you may have two or three, you may have 10. So here you're gonna break off that little edge, get rid of that excess. There's your nice pencil all sharp and ready to go. So it's just, it just is so much more organized and you, you know, you're able to get your makeup done much faster. So the next tutorial is going to be about cleaning eyeshadow and blush products.